my entire body was falling from the mountain, but my leg got caught in the snow. The weather is cool. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, I want to give you a quick overview of my recent climb of the highest peak of Slovakia called Gerlach, which is located in the Slovak High Tatra Mountains. This mountain range is uh, pretty famous for us Slovaks. It's one of our national symbols. And uh, I always had this dream of climbing the highest peak of Slovakia since I moved back a few months ago. I want to share with you how I almost uh, died, basically. And it's not on camera because I was unable to film everything. Guys, we are in High Tatras, which is the biggest mountain in Slovakia, or it's like 6 a.m. And we've done Fajar here. Look, we built the most. We have the lake, these mountains. And we're going to the highest peak, 2,700 or 600 meters. So, inshallah, we shall survive. Guys, we're going right here, the highest peak of Slovakia. We're two Slovak Muslims on the trip. And we have a special guide with us. It's gonna take like nine hours or ten this trip. No, eight. But look at this, this is the land. This is Slovakia. Look, the, the we are so high up that the clouds are below us so it's called inversion this is how we we're moving with our guide mashallah 7 a.m we've got eight hours ahead of us to get to those peaks we've got the helmets all of this those are low tatras slightly lower than the high tatras which we're going for you can see, it's pretty amazing weather. Clouds. And then went for about two hours around the mountain to Batizovské pleso, which is like a lake. Look at me, this thing, good job. It's windy. Not windy anymore. Very cool. So this is where we're going. Up there with the equipment. Let's see, never done this before. Check it out, we're so high up. That's the lake where we've been climbing up these things and you can already see the snow I'm gonna have a break after like one hour and 30 minutes and then we're gonna go up there and then we hit a spot where the mountain started to go like that and it started to have a snow the guy said like hey this this is this was fun now this was hiking but now we're going to be mountain climbers so we had a rope we were all tied in one rope. The guy was leading us. I was the second and another guy behind me. And then we had helmets. We had machka, which is like this thing you put on your shoes, which are made of iron that prevent you from falling in the snow or like you, you don't slip up on the mountain. You have this tepik, which is this like a hammer thing that you, that you kind of push through the snow and it kind of um, helps you if you're gonna fall or something. So this, this, this in your hand and also I had a helmet and then some gear around my belly and backpack. So quite a lot of things, you know. And so we started out going on the snow. Problem with these mountains is that it always kind of like has this two-faced approach. So you go through a hundred meters of snow, then you have just rocks and mountains, then snow, then mountains. So you always have to switch up your strategy, how you go, because on the snow, it's quite easy. Or you just have to make sure you don't fall and kind of like die, but you just go through, the guy takes a step, you take a step in his step and you go through the snow like that. Um, it's conditionally very difficult because you're going like that. So you're going like, I had to make a, a, a breath sort of technique where I would have like two breaths because in the mountains you can't really catch a long breath you just do like quick breaths and then i would make one move and then like that and we would just go up and up and up we started in the snow but these machka things on my leg 
these uh, these iron things they would just slip off and i remember one moment in the middle of the mountain where i had to kind of put it on back and there were like two or three instances where this happened so i was like really annoyed with that also going through these like rocky things going up yeah, i didn't really have any problems looking down or looking at how high we are because you're always looking up so you you always see the mountain you you don't really look back that much and so going up it's much easier actually it's just harder on your condition because you're always kind of like catching your breath and stuff like that but and we got to the top where you can see everything so you have amazing views guys we are already here because we couldn't film this is the top of Slovakia people are here You know how crazy it was to get here? It's insane. Whew. We made it. And what happened at the top? A guy, a crazy man, was sleeping there because he was taking pictures of the sunrise. So some dude actually slept over on the top of the highest mountain of Slovakia. And then we were like, okay, let's go down now. But going down from a mountain is different because you, you don't go like that, that your back is turned to the outside and you turn the face the mountain and you go like that no you face the the nothingness and you go like this down the mountain and so this was the first time for us to go like that and it was very difficult especially in the snow because you would oftentimes fall or slip and then if you slip on your ass it can snow snow can like take you away like very quickly and you can like slip and die in like some two meters away there's nothing so if you just fall there you, you're dead there's no rescuing you and he actually told us a lot of times like every three days they have to call a helicopter or somebody gets stuck or someone dies a lot of times someone dies and so we would just go like this uh, down I would slip away so many times and at some point I had to take off these much kid things because he told me you can't really walk in them they are like so you're just gonna use your shoes which is like insane to go with just shoes in this snow down but I would be like okay I would get these cramps in my legs like everywhere on the thigh everywhere like I couldn't <laughs> it was horrible these cramps um, I've never experienced them because it was so uh, physically like uh, crazy I lost three kilograms of weight day before I ate so much food and I remember I lost three kilograms when I got back home so this is how much <laughs> I was sweating you know but anyways this wasn't the hard part we were kind of like going down there were some parts of like these um, things where we would just you hang with your one hand and there's nothing below you and you're just going going like that you know <laughs> crazy stuff but it wouldn't bother me that much but one point I would go down and basically I stepped in the snow and the snow sometimes you don't really see what's behind it what's below it and so there would be nothing there so I would just step on it and it would be below me so my entire body was falling from the mountain but my leg got caught in the snow up until my crotch so I was stuck with the leg and I was falling so what happened is you know the leg helps you because you can't fall like the leg stops you but the the fall made it so that my knee twisted like and i would just be like wow it was really painful and i thought i was like what 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 do we do now you know it was a horrible pain i somehow got out and then i limped to some space just chill there and the guy said do you do i call a helicopter and i was like no please don't call a helicopter i wanna i wanna go down but i still had two thirds of this mountain to climb down uh to get down so somehow we made it but i was mostly like limping and just like on my ass just like being very careful of what to do and when we got down to this uh, lakey area where we had to kind of walk two more hours and hike which was nothing compared to this i was like so relieved we we've done that so you can see it on this video that i'm happy you guys this is where we've just been it's not fun and i don't recommend it again it was really difficult i almost broke my leg there were a few times where i thought i'm gonna die so yeah at least it's a good experience but subhanallah it was like this close to jannah jannah our guide left because he's annoyed with me because I, 
I got injured my right knee completely kind of went through the snow because there's a lot of snow up there and uh, it twisted it and we we're going down so I was sort of limping back praying to Allah that I'll make it so no, it wasn't fun it wasn't fun at all the weather is cool so Slavic Muslims conquered Gerlach and to make wudu yeah I would just summarize it that I would never probably again want to go to this type of mountains. Um, you know, this is 2,655 meters. Maybe you think like, oh, that's not that big. Well, it doesn't have to be that big. But if 1,000 out of those meters is like that and there is no road, you have to climb through these rocky things. So that's the problem. You don't have like um, a nice... Uh, area so in turkey i was i think i was at the 3000 meter mountain but it was nothing because it was you could go up there through like a, a hike so that's easy or alps i had the same thing i we, I, we could just jump through the rocks and get up there but this was different so even my another brother who's very skilled mountaineering guy said like this was not fun we've done it mashallah it's cool um but uh yeah I just wanted to share this because it was like one of the hardest things I've ever done. This is the second or third day after the, the, the trip and I can't even move. I can't go to toilet. I can't move my legs. I'm so wiped out. Climbing a mountain is definitely more uh, enduring than doing a marathon or going for a gym or boxing. No comparison. I'm preparing a lot of new content ideas and it's gonna really change the YouTube game, I guess so, because I didn't really have time to celebrate the 10K subscribers. I'm already at 11, so it's amazing. And thank you so much for everyone who subscribed, who's new to this channel. But I'm preparing a concept where each video would kind of go viral. I'm not sure when we're gonna be able to launch one of these first pilot episodes, but uh, it's not interviews. These are not like GoPro videos. These are not travel, just videos. This is like a brand new concept specifically targeting YouTube that I've been working on for the past few weeks and I'm so excited for it. So subhanAllah, let's see how it goes. But if it goes, I'll need your guys' help to push it. And then once you push it, we just need that first push. We're gonna be good. So we can do a live stream because I haven't done one in a long time and I'd like to chat with you, all of you. So assalamu alaikum and I'll see you in the next video.